And so far, this is Gia Blazable from GamerFusion.com, and today I'm going to show you guys where the Coric Machete is at. Now, this is said to be one of the best guns within the game. It's very effective, and we're going to go ahead and uh, work our way towards over there, towards the section where you're going to be able to obtain this uh, this machete. So let me go ahead and show you guys where we're at. So right now, this is the tower. There's a second save point, and this is a third save point, like a kind of save point that you're able to get obtained. Now the machete is located at this area right here. We're going to go ahead and set a waypoint for this one real quick. Alright, so the machete is located right there. So all we got to do is traverse and keep going straight until we get to this uh, house. And we're going to require some type of uh, climbing skills here. So that's going to be very effective. Now let's go make sure we, uh, we get out of here as quickly as possible. Now one thing I do want you to keep in mind is you're going to want to go ahead and... Uh, and to have enough alcohol and metal parts for when you guys get the machete because the machete is not like the Excalibur weapon where you just go ahead and pick it up. This one actually is a blueprint and uh, the only way you're able to obtain it is if you go ahead and uh, make a blueprint, you know, have the uh, right amount of equipment to uh, blue make a blueprint out of it. So, first things we're going to want to do is avoid these zombies as quick as much as we can. Just keep avoiding the zombies. Just traverse your way over there, and you should be good uh, to go. So, definitely should get you there really, really quickly. Woo! Running out of stamina. Go ahead and hit that right there. All right, here we go. And uh, once we get through there, we should be able to uh, get to the building. Now, this is the building you're going to be looking at. Uh, the best way to get to this building would be through the farm part so you're probably going to want to clear up a couple zombies maybe just not clear them but just kind of send them over the edge if you can all right so just keep kicking them keep kicking them as uh, much as you can right there so you're going to want to go ahead and get into this building and uh get in here hop on over to the building and you're going to want to work your way towards the top of the building so you're probably wondering how am i supposed to get all the way up there well, it's not that hard. All you gotta do is just go ahead, jump up here, and uh, you're gonna jump on this uh, air conditioner. There we go. Now, from this air conditioner, we're gonna go and uh, jump on this edge right there. Whoopsie! All right, hold on, guys. Let me let me go ahead and give this another another try here. That's the best way I, c I can see making my way up there is uh, going through there, because up here won't be another. I could probably try to. Oh, let's see. I don't. I don't know if I could pick it up like that. Go ahead and collect that. All right. So let's give this a second try. Let me try to go ahead and go up here. Go on this guy. Okay. Hold on. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I got it. I got it. We're gonna go up here, and uh, we will work our way towards that lamp right there. Let me just go ahead and get a uh, hop on this party real quick. And uh, once we're in here, we should be able to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be able to make it away here. Here we go. Alright. Work our way up this slab. We gotta go up here. And then from here, we're gonna traverse to right there. And, and then we're gonna go this way. Alright, hold on. Let's see. Let me go ahead and uh, I think we're going to have to work our way up there. Go ahead and uh, check this top portion right there. Oh, snaps. All right, hold on. My way up here. Oh, how come it's not letting me? Not letting me go up here. It's not letting me go up here. It's not letting me go up here. Oh, there you go. All right, so we made it up here. And then from here, I'm assuming we got to go up here. Yep, yep. And it looks like all we have to do is now make it all the way to the, to the top. Can I make it to the top like this? Nope. All right. So we're probably going to have to go up here. And let's go ahead and go in here. And let me see through here. I think my best bet will probably be to uh, go up here. Hold on. You know, I should be able to make that ledge, though. Hmm. Let me let me double check here. All 
All right, so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and hop on these uh, this edge right here and work our way up here. All right, so once once we're here, we'll go ahead and get up on top of the roof and uh, jump on down and we'll find this box right here. So all you got to do is keep kicking it and kicking it and kicking it and kicking it until you activate the blueprint. Once you activate the blueprint, you should be able to go ahead and get the machete. I think it takes like about 40 to 50 kicks to... Uh, oh, shit. To get it out of here, so here we go. All right, we're almost there. Go ahead, go ahead, kick it, kick it, kick it, kick it. Here we go. No time to waste. Yeah, come on, come on. We gotta keep kicking it until until it opens up and we get this blueprint for the machete. Come on now. Look at the little, look at the little bunny. Here we go, here we go. What the fuck is that? Come on, little bunny. There we go. Come on, we're almost there. Alright, so it doesn't matter if you tap it fast or not, you just gotta tap it once it appears. So you just gotta keep kicking it. I think it's a Shit. total okay. of... I thought it was more than 40, actually. Let me see. Here we go, here we go. Just keep going, keep going. And uh, we should be able to uh, open this up real quick, so... Don't give up, guys. Once you guys get up here... Okay, there we go. Done. Blueprint is there, Fuck. so a blueprint for the cork machete has been obtained. So in order for us to craft that, we're gonna go to our blueprint... And uh, we're going to see right here. And it looks like we need uh, five more metal parts and seven more alcohol. So definitely that is what you need. So make sure you guys get your alcohol and your metal down as quickly as possible. All right, guys. Don't forget, guys, for all things Dying Light, head over to GamerFusion.com where we empower your game in. And also stay tuned for it because we're going to be able to use this weapon really, 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 really important. It's going to be very effective for us to use uh, this kind of like one of the best uh, weapons weapons to obtain from Dying Light. All right, guys. See you in the next episode.